y'all what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and this video right here is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself and i'm excited to talk to you guys about this snippet right here from my interview with wasu and ghost because man they went a completely different route than so many people get told from a popular standpoint. And it's really because they have this strategy, this strong philosophy against paying for things, but not from a standpoint of being cheapskates. I want you guys to hear this conversation. Can you post it and they will post it? Hey, so what it all comes down to, because if you're not going to, it, it come, it, it's the basic three currencies, right? It's relationship, yep. money. And then the other one's really just your own hustle and time and actually having that content. But, uh, but, but really, it's relationship and money as far as the things that matter most in, in music when it comes to getting your stuff seen. And when you said, I'm not spending money, you just doubled down on all these relationships that we even talked about early, earlier in the yeah. conversation that you... Yeah, bro, because like, look, man, ten, like ten, look, okay, let, let's give an example of like 10 racks, right? Put 10 racks in, in, into music, yo, it's going to be a slow return. I can put 10 racks into something else to make... Like in a week, I can turn that 10 racks into, into 15. You know what I'm saying? If I put that into music, it, 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 it makes no sense. Like, I'm going to wait a year to, to, to get that back. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? But now, now everything's in the positives, man. Like, we did two, he did two shows uh, last year, like opening for Made in T.O. Uh, with the other one, Killy and shit. Killy, yeah. Like, yo, pay, paid five racks. Like, boom, boom, easy. You know what I'm saying? No investment. That's just positives. Like, fuck that shit. We don't got time to... And then once we make that money, we flip it into some other shit. But it's like, like, like you were saying, even with how you see either the money or the relationships, but at the end of the day, it's just the relationships. The money is what buys you the, either buys you the relationship or the illusion of the relationship. But at the end of the day, a lot of people are you know saying so. At the end of the day, it's all, it's all about the relationships. If you can make that without the money, then obviously that's better, but money is, what, is what's going to get you the relationship sometimes. But we're not, I'm not into the, Paying for the relationship. Yeah, like, fuck yo, that, man. Like, you fuck with me and, or not. Yo, you know we got all these. Mean by paying for the relationship. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, what yo, we what got. What do you mean by that? And, like, we, we got. We Sorry, got, what do you say? What do you mean by paying for the relationship? I want to make sure it's clearly understood. Yeah, I'm not paying, like, not like, oh, here's here's this amount of money and post me on this. Like, that's not that's not oh, the type right. of shit that, that, that I'm doing. It's more like we, through the, through the music, because at the end of the day, if the music is good, it's going to work. So through the dope music, through the, through the releases, we, we form the relationships. And then with the relationships, we're able to put out what I need to put out on whatever uh, platform. Yeah, because, like, look, man, all these producers that I'm hunting and shit, for instance, uh, one of the most recent producers, their name is uh, Bear Fury. They're, they're a duo. And, like, <clears throat> every time they drop a song, Skrillex plays their song in the biggest festivals. Like 40 people in the fucking festivals and playing their songs. Like, I'm not... We're not paying for shit no more, man. Like, if I can get that for free, why the fuck am I going to pay for something? Like, why, that, like, yeah, I'm sure if you give Skrillex whatever amount of money, he'll be able, he'll be like, okay, yeah, I'll play your song. But rather than do that, Skrillex doesn't need fucking money. Exactly. Dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, but if we just go through like, that, yo, let's bigger. fuck with, let's fuck with this producer who fucks with Skrillex, and then we'll see what happens. Exactly, because they already love his music because he can already rap to dubstep or EDM. Like, he's one of the only rappers who can do it. In, in the whole world. He's one of the only rappers doing it in the whole world. See, so that's one of the important things that I like to differentiate between because one, what you guys are doing is obviously working for you. But paying for stuff has obviously worked for a lot of people as well. Sure. Both routes work, but what's important is you guys have a philosophy and strategy and you're sticking to it versus keep going back and forth and trying this one little tactic, one little tactic and never giving any chance for anything to work out on one direction. So you don't know what's working. You just see random pops and you're always chasing. Y'all have found a couple of things that you say, okay, this popped. I like how this, this moved and it's felt. This is going to be our philosophy and y'all continued it and got better and start. And you're seeing the fruits of a strong strategy. And that's when it, so I, I like that you guys have that versus, it, to me, it doesn't matter how people pop. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't judge people for, oh, they pop this way or he's a, he's a plant or he had a rich mom or like whatever. I don't care. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, but. I hope everybody wins. I hope everybody succeeds, especially people who are like uh, in communities where they're really put down. Like, 
I want everyone to win. I don't care how you fucking win, just win. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, yeah, uh, that, that's fact. But, but, because... but also, like, yo, we keep we keep all our options open. If we gotta pay for some shit in the future, I'm not gonna use it on my own budget. But like, we've had we've had uh, meetings with Empire and shit, and like, yo, it's getting to a point where they're seeing the stats and they're like, yo, we might just throw money at you. So if it's if somebody else is giving me money for, to pump up this music shit, all right, I'll use it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'll be watching your videos because you got all the Facebook ads, the marketing shits, yeah. shit that like, yo, if you pump in money, I'm, I'm just like studying this shit because I don't want to pump in money without knowing what I'm getting into. So before I get the advance from Empire or whatever the fuck, I'm going to be studying my shit so I know where to, where to spend the marketing dollars at. And money. that's, we just don't want to, because like I said, when we started this, it was really just, yo, me and Ghost so and a couple, cousin, you know, a couple of other friends, like, yo, let's try to put some money in this and see where it is. But we really came, approached it, like, blindly. We didn't know where to put the money or what to do with it. And, you know, we had to go through trial and error. But now it's like, yo, we're not going to use, we're trying not to use our own bread at all to, to do any of this. And it's like, yo, if we can make the relationships, if we can build good relationships, and then those relationships get us, like, people who are willing to put money into it, then that's good, too. I study Rockefeller. I study Kanye. I study whoever. Always use somebody else's money. That's it. If you ain't giving me the money, I ain't gonna. I, I ain't gonna use my own money. Fuck that. Investors, labels, whatever the fuck, y'all throw the bread. I'll spend your bread. Now I want to make clear that this situation isn't something that everybody can make happen for themselves. You have to have the right people in play. While Sue and Ghost have a great duo relationship, while the artist is focusing heavily on the music and the manager is out there hustling, 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 making connections and, and you know, being very entrepreneurial and know how to flip stuff and there's still heavy exchanges of value at the same time. It's not like they're reaching out to people that they have no real relationships with them trying to actually get them to do something for them without giving them value in exchange. Now, if you watch that full interview back when I dropped that, you'll see a little bit more and get an understanding from that backstory. But even more importantly than that, Ghost expressed express this hunger for understanding how to spend certain money because money does get spent at the end of the day. Yes, they got to a certain level and Wasu has actually, he has a real legitimate level of success. Music is dope, by the way. But when you start having to push and blow up to a certain level and money needs to get spent, you need to know how to do that, what to do with it. So he's still getting all this knowledge on Facebook ads and things like that. So don't get it twisted and be like, I have to never spend any money ever even if it's getting investment because he talked about getting investment from other folks where he can push that money. You still gotta know how to utilize whatever investment you get or you're not gonna get any more money from anybody. So I just wanted to make sure that was understood that there's a lot more that you probably can do or get done if you're in the right situation without spending money, but at the end of the day, you really need to know how to spend money and market. You will hit some sort of ceiling. I didn't make an extremely in-depth Facebook marketing specifically for artist course just for my health. I know that at the end of the day, it's a need. I wouldn't make it if it wasn't a need. If you guys want to check that out, I got a link in the description below. I'm making a super cheap for artists because these things are extremely expensive. I saw a lot of courses out there that was just, you know, a thousand plus dollars. And of course, this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com. If you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.